Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simon. Welcome to another episode of My Hero Academia. Uh, yeah, the last couple of episodes have been a little bit uh, tense as we saw the confrontation between uh, Hero Killer Stain and the students of UA, um, Ida, Todoroki, and Deku. Um, they managed to overcome him. But not really without a lot of difficulty, a lot of injuries being suffered. Uh, we saw at the end of the episode that um, they managed to capture him. Um, he did manage to break out of his bonds um, after one of the Nomus had taken Deku. Um, and he actually caught Deku himself. But then his internal injuries just proved to be too much. And he fainted standing up, apparently. Um, I wasn't sure whether he died because it looked like he was dead. Um, but it, you know, again, you guys are very, very helpful, uh, when it comes to the comments and, and just clearing up a few things for me. Uh, but no, this, uh, this apparently just knocked him out. So I got a feeling he's probably going to go to prison for a while and he, we may see him towards the end of the season. We may not see him again until season three. I'm not sure. Um, I've got a feeling the rest of the season is probably going to focus on Shigaraki, um, and his incessant childish need to prove himself um obviously the failure of the free no moves is really gonna um cause him some uh I, you know he's, we already saw that it was causing him distress um <clears throat> but i can imagine that coming back to his master and having to tell him that he failed is probably not going to be an easy thing um they do have three more no moves from what uh, it sounds like uh, in the background but I don't know what they're going to do next. Uh, I don't know what the students are going to do next. I'm assuming they're going to recover from their injuries. I'm assuming that their week-long um, work experience is coming to an end. And they're going to go back to school. Who knows? Um, so let's jump into it and find out. And cut. Uh -huh. Don't you dare stop <clears throat> Yeah. Wait, what in the world? Capture everything. At what? Are they going to oh, capture yeah. the battle? Check out the building with the water tower on top. Zoom in. There's people. Oh, oh Shigaraki. How did they get up there? Uh-oh. You've been caught on camera. He was actually trying to yeah. murder you, but you stood tall. That's not true. Well, he would have died if it wasn't for you two showing up, to be fair. Oh, so the injured young'uns are awake. Gregorino! <laughs> And man, oh yeah, he's the first time he's seeing him. I could yell at you for hours right now. <gasps> this is Hosu's chief of police, Kenji Suragame. Suragame? Oh, it's, it's a dog. The chief? It's a dog. His quirk is a dog. Uh, please stay seated. Woof. Uh, woof. He actually says woof. <laughs> so, you're the UA students who brought down the hero killer, huh? We are. Oh man. The police chief came on. You can't way. do this to me after a really serious Stan fight. some serious injuries. Severe burns and several broken Is this a quirk or is this just like right an experiment now, gone wrong? Under strict guard. Woof. Stop saying woof, please. <laughs> when quirks became the norm, the police He's even got a... the status quo. He's got a Dalmatian tie. Quirks as weapons. That's why it's against the law for uncertified people to use their quirks <clears> to cause injuries. <throat> oh, you broke the law. Whether you were up against the hero killer or not. None of you have the authority to harm me. Please the shut up. That means the three of you. I mean, come I'm on, give a dog a bone. Endeavor, manual. Are you saying we should have just stood by and watched people die? Calm down. So oh. it's okay to break the law as long as it goes your way. Oh, I don't like this dog. But sir, isn't it a hero's job to save people? This is why you're not a full fledged pro yet. It's obvious you way and Endeavor haven't been teaching you near enough. What I don't like this police. You damn dog. Todoroki, we could say Endeavor saved the day. Stains Burns would support oh, us to work so... and we could pretend you weren't involved. That's so rough. Thankfully, there were very few witnesses. That they don't get the credit they deserve. The last you heard of any punishments. Personally, I know where I stand. I challenge the system. I don't want to damage any promising young careers. Why are you sticking your tongue out? Like this. Either way, we'll need to take responsibility for being negligent as supervisors. I'd challenge the system. I'd say, fuck you. We did a good thing. I'm sorry. We saved people. Listened. Yeah, you caused us a lot of trouble. You want to punish us for that, Remember then? That Screw don't you. Don't do it again. The hero killer stain. Why did he do it? What did he hope to gain? 
Don't be shy. We're taking calls and want to hear your thoughts. What's going on here? Live from Echo Street in Hosu City. Last night, just after 8 p.m., the hero killer Stain was arrested by Endeavor on this very floor. He's all they're talking about. What about my Nomus? Nope. No one cares about Nomus. Your plan <laughs> was ruined. Is over, the world will have forgotten you ever existed. People tend to come apart at the seams in times like this. That's why we heroes must These guys all look very suave and don't let chaos tempt well the thoughtless overreaction. Remember, we're here to protect oh, ours. Oh god, your hair. Vengeance. Back ago. It'll be business as usual. What happened to standard material? It, it went back to the way it was, didn't it? Sharp as your jeans. Thank you, best genius. Oh, he's Damn so it. angry. I'm so ready to get out of this place. One sec, I want to reply. <laughs> What oh I shit! Punctuality. Yep. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Time to patrol. Yes, yes sir. No matter how damaged your hair is, our new formula is sure to deeply penetrate each strand. Such shine. Oh, there's the gals. There's Momo. Volume. Easy curls with just one spritz. Uneri hairspray. <laughs> Come on. What ladies. did you learn in your week Ride away, Momo? Oh, I learned how to advertise a product. This is just the first cut, so it'll be another month before it airs. It needs lots of CGI. Bye. Was that a boy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. I can't believe I talked to a girl on the phone. Um, like she was whispering in my ear. Do you, okay? Have you never spoken to your mom on the phone before? Oh, hey. I know Ida. it's not the same, but I just talked to Uraraka. But I got lost in my own anger. You're completely blinded by a selfish desire for yep. revenge. What Stain said was from technically hero, true. I can imagine. I hate him so much, but I can't deny he spoke the truth. That's why, until I'm able to call myself a real hero, I'll leave my left hand as it is. Oh, why? Are you sure? We don't need symbolism in this time. We need people Maybe who can fight. If I'd been a better friend back then. No, stop it. Yeah. It's not He's your fault. accepted what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Uh, about what? He doesn't have Whenever a bad injury. Involved, someone's hand gets all messed up. It's something wrong with me. Uh, nope. Stop making it about yourself. Am I cursed? No. <laughs> <laughs> Todoroki, I didn't know you had a sense of humor. <laughs> this isn't a joke. I'm like the hand crusher or something. <laughs> he doesn't have a sense of humor. He's being serious. He must have already been tied up, so what scared you? It probably stemmed from his fanatic ideology. Yeah. He is determined, if nothing else, on his, his face. Session. I'm not trying to praise hmm. or anything. But he's got the same determination as you when it comes to your symbol of peace thing. There will be people across the globe who yeah. are influenced by these new ideas. People will. If that's true, and he inspires copycat villains. Yeah, he will. They'll probably strike out on their own. They won't be as effective, be but them, just they'll like they try. This time. That's where the League of Villains comes in. <laughs> the Hosu incident suggests that Stain and the League are connected somehow. That means the League will go from being thought of as a bunch of juvenile delinquents that yeah, attacked you to being a serious to being threat. recognized as a group with an ideology. In other words, and people will want to join. Will seek them out. Your master and the previous holder of one for all. The man who opened that hole in your stomach. You're afraid the villain named All oh. for One is on the rise again. The villain named All for One. For him to have survived such injuries. He put a hole in his stomach? I don't want to imagine it's possible. His former master? Joshinori, that child the opposite you so wholly of one for all. All for find one. the time to tell him everything concerning you and one for all. Be honest. He deserves to know the truth. Two days That's a new bit of information that... The opens up possibilities motives started being dissected from various angles keep this on the down low i'm only telling you because i know your guys have quality goods to sell have you seen this yet kill the hero state that? Is that it's a, a song? video of the hero killer he's hot right now oh 
Oh! They're making YouTube videos about him. The hero killer Stain. His self-appointed duty. During this time, his parents passed away and what police eventually ruled as a tragic accident. Was a murder. His focus was on a return to the old days. He believed heroes should not... What is the old days? That one should epitomize oh. the idea of self-sacrifice. It's not hard to see. This guy is really stirring something in people. Oh, here we go. From villains with countless convictions to felons on the run, all the major players, including me, are watching. It's infectious. Do you feel it? They gotta go back to the old ways of I don't doing think things. The heroes oh shit! What's awakening? The evil that was once quiet and scattered now has a is that Sonic? That's calling out to it. Oh shit, Nazi man. Individual criminals are seeking out the organization that the hero killer Exactly what they said. To. They're all headed to the League of Villains. Okay, so yeah, pretty much what uh Gran Torino predicted uh is coming true. Um even though the hero killer didn't quite get what he wanted. Um and I'm sure that he's not necessarily interested in people being galvanized and, and being drawn into the League of Villains. Um, that's exactly what's happening. You know, they they see this association because of the joint attacks. And they're all being, you know, it, it's kind of like, I, I've recently watched the uh, the second episode, um, the, the season two of Gotham. And if you've seen that, you can see that Jerome has a very similar effect on people there, where people see him going crazy, and these people who already have these crazy tendencies are encouraged by that. And we see that exactly here. People who are already villains, but maybe haven't got that boost of motivation or that uh, drive to, to go the next step, now have that. Um, and they're all seeking out the League of Villains. Um, so realistically, even though Shigaraki is angry that they went on the front page, that no one's talking about this Nomu attack... They've gotten what they wanted. They've gotten villains to to sort of rise up and want to join them because they feel like, you know, they're the ones who are leading this charge forward of, of whatever it is they want to do. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about going back to the old ways and going back to the the ways things used to be, you know, sort of heroes we had their hero is not seeking compensation, you know, doing it for the true self sacrifice of being a hero. And I, you know, I, I do understand that a little bit. You know, it could get to the point. I mean, you look at Endeavor. Endeavor is someone who's got tremendous power, who is undoubtedly talented, and you know, he, he is a good guy. He he fights for the side of good. He's not necessarily a good guy though, because he is driven by, you know, self selfish reasons you know he wants to be number one he wants to be the most powerful the most famous and the way to do that is to become the best hero it's nothing to do with saving people and um, that's not his core motivator which is what you should you know if you want to be a hero your core motivation should always be helping people saving people not money fame becoming the best it's it's literally like you should be content to be good at what you do because you save people not because you are the best um, so in that regard, Stain certainly does have a point, and, and I can sympathise with him on that, but obviously because he is unhinged, and he has suffered through, I mean, I imagine that being ignored, as we saw there, as we, as we heard, him being ignored for so long has probably driven his hatred inside of him, and when you get someone who is already a little bit unstable, and you give them that anger, um, it's just fuel on the fire, you know, and, um, Unfortunately, it's turned out that he's also got a quirk, which makes um, heroes particularly vulnerable. Um, you know, if he had been given, if he was quirkless, then he probably wouldn't be as dangerous as he is now. Or if he had a different quirk, then maybe he wouldn't be as dangerous. But he's got a very effective um, quirk for one-on-one -on -one fights. Um, and for, you know, basically for, for being an assassin, that's that's a fantastic quirk to have. Now, this episode also brought up more information about All Might and his, you know, um, his predecessor and, you know, how he got the, the wound. So his predecessor gave him the wound that's caused him so much trouble. Um, and we saw that that person's name is the inverse of the power that All Might and Deku has. Um, 
and that kind of that cake that kind of makes sense because it seems to me like they maybe had the power and they've twisted it to their own selfish purpose and so you know that's maybe why all might and whoever you know again i'm assuming this was the person who used to be his mentor maybe or certainly the person who gave him the power um you know as to why they came to blows so i'm very interested in finding out a little bit more about what the history there is you know um and again the whole police thing this whole idea that heroes can't use their powers unless they're fully sanctioned and they can only do it in certain circumstances and and the fact that those three students you know who were incredibly brave who did an incredibly um good job at stopping the hero killer they can't get any of the credit because they would have to get a punishment because you know it's, it's kind of like in you know when uh it's not a, probably a very good example, but in Harry Potter, when he uses magic to get rid of the Dementors, when he's with Dudley, and they threaten to throw him out of school. Despite, despite the fact that he did a good thing and he saved someone, they're still threatening him with a punishment, you know? So that would, to me, that would make me angry, and that would make me want to stand up against the system. And, and you know, I get the feeling that this is going to take us down a path that shows us that this world is not perfect, and there are things that need to change, and that the villains do have some modicum of um of sense they do have actually a good point they're just unfortunately going about proving that point the the wrong way um certainly that's what i think with stain so i'm going to be very interested in the coming episodes to see how much more development we get in this this idea of you know heroes being very restricted um learning more about all might and you know his history and um just seeing where the characters all go next um and when we will see hero killer stain again who knows but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and i will see you for the next one